Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. So today we are going to talk about the new update that apparently I just completely missed in the last one. So um, there is some metal pipe here. Um, apparently there's been an update so that you can craft a water tank I think it's called. Um, pretty easily made in the beginning. Um, it would be a little bit easier for you to build in locations that didn't have a ton of water. I don't know why I'm going down the elevator shaft like that, but it is what it is. Um, so there is a water tank here. It stores water reserves in your base, can pump water in from external sources and out to various base items. Also provides water piping crafting options. So apparently with this we can craft our own water pipes to water the plant beds if i'm not mistaken and i very well could be please feel free to correct me in the comment section uh, the scrap went where it's supposed to that's lovely i am going to go ahead and put all of these ores back where they belong because fortunately we had extra well some extra the um, zinc here is struggling a bit of course but you know there's always going to be that issue because everything in the game requires zinc all of a sudden um, we do have um, a brainstorm coming in apparently so there's also a fill all option I think and we have a lot of these guys so there's that um, apparently there is a way to fill all of these canteens at once I think uh, we have water just here that we can get into very very cool if you hear the laundry in the background um, fill water with fill with water fill all canteens with water lovely very much appreciated love 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 these new quality of life changes this is a very difficult game in and of itself so there's really no need to make it harder than it already is um, we do also need to cook some of this water which is okay. We have a fire burning over here. Let's just do that. We'll put some of this away and then we'll cook it overnight so that we don't have to spend the entire day just cooking water for us to drink. I'll put a new canteen just here. We need to make a insect repellent. I think it's fairly easy to make. Um, don't think it requires too much. Just one of these guys and ooh, we can craft from the crate. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I love this. So all of these health items, I can just craft from here? Well, I need some cloth for that one, but like the adrenaline boost, the first aid, I need some cloth in this crate apparently just for that. So we could do that. I can craft bandages from the crate downstairs. This is super, super cool really really love that one of my favorite additions to the game guys to be honest about things i really am enjoying that okay so we do have crops out here um apparently add a grow light plant bed sprinkler so we can add a sprinkler system to this we just need mass this doesn't really require anything at all except for a plant bed sprinkler and i don't know how to make that but apparently after we get the tank made, we should know how to do that from there, from the water tank. Because it did say that it gave us some options from there. So that's lovely. So what we're going to do right now, we probably should have had some food. Let's just get back in the base and have something to eat. Because we don't want to starve to death out here. And that's a very real possibility. Let's just grab these potatoes on the way in because apparently we can craft crates and I love it. Love, love, love the idea of that. And we do need potatoes for a lot of things. We need water for this. This is tomatoes. And I'm sure this is also tomatoes. No, it's medicinal plant. That's lovely as well because we do need that to craft biofuel. Let's just throw all of... We have like... 230 potatoes. There's no way we're going to need that many potatoes. Let's just eat these blueberries that are hanging out over here by themselves. We'll eat a third one as well. 
Let's have a steak, and then we are going to have a tiny bit of water. We'll just drink one of these because we have it. And we have plenty of fuel bricks, and I don't want this fire to go out, although we might be close by. I'm not really going to go too far today. We're just going to explore this area. We might go check on some of the bases, see how well they're doing. I uh, really would like to see um, the new Bravo base. And I do think the Fortress base might be one of the new ones, but I'm not sure on that at all. Hopefully it is, and we can, you know, get out there and just have a little peek. Uh, what type of weapons do we have? We have our bow. It's been a while, guys. I've been playing the Infected a lot lately. Really been enjoying that update as well. It was really a complete game overhaul. So it's been pretty interesting as well. I do know that these guys are just barely up into the birch forest. What are... Like, who's growling at me? A bear? I'm not surprised by that at all. Okay, so I do see those guys. They are just right up there. The bear might be chasing me. I don't know. I can't hear it over the storm. And I do have laundry going in the background as well, which makes things a bit more noisy for me. I do apologize for the laundry. I also apologize for the lack of videos released on Monday on the channel. Uh, basically because I was feeling very, very poorly. Uh, been like that for a few days. It started last Friday. I felt like I was going to pass out every time I stood up. Um, and then Saturday wasn't great either. It was a very difficult day as, as well. Um, fortunately, I do have family that is very supportive of me. And they were trying to make things easier for me. My husband even made dinner that day. You know, my, him and my brother were cooking on the grill. Um, it, was, it was nice to not have to worry about that type of stuff while being under the weather. Um... So yeah, we have a, a wolf chasing us. I would love to get rid of it. There's a crate just up on top of this hill. But unfortunately, I think it's going to chase me again. Silly, silly wolf. Crates are for people, not for wolves. Just go away. I really wish we got our arrows back in this game. They are pretty expensive to craft. And I would like to, you know, just get them back. I don't want to die. I do have lots of material in my inventory for crafting the water tank. We are basically just waiting on the mass to generate. I don't know what this guy's running after. But apparently he's just, you know, running and doing weird things. So this sort of looks like the original base. I don't know. The original one didn't have any rounded areas. I think that one does. So this might be a different type of base. If you guys know that, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if we've already established that or not, but it does look a bit different. Um, I really hope it's one of the new bases. Uh, the Bravo base, of course, is one of the new ones, so that's lovely as well. I really do enjoy that. I cannot wait to get down here and raid those guys. I think it's a new one. Fairly certain it is. Maybe. It has been a while, guys, and I'm pretty sure that I don't remember seeing the Bravo base with that slanted wall like that. But hopefully, you know, we can get down there and raid it and get a, a little bit closer look at that because, you know, it would be nice to know what's going on down there. I don't know where the rogues are. I did see a campfire overnight out on the island in the middle of the pond or in the middle of the lake. Sorry, I should have said um, there was an island out there, and there was a campfire on it as well. I did see that overnight. Okay, just heading over here. We washed our hands to prevent an infection. If you are new to this game, there's a bunny rabbit down there. Um, I do want to get the water tank up and running today. I'm not quite sure how difficult it will be or what is required to get it going and get it functional. Uh, it might be a couple of days in the in the works you know getting all of that done and that's okay if it is not a big deal um i didn't see that there was very many like um 
Um, what's the right word? I'm not a computer person by any stretch of the imagination, guys. But I didn't see that there was a lot of like optimization fixes. That's the word. Um, you know, and this game runs really smooth. I'm not sure that it even needed it, honestly. I can play this on my laptop, which means, you know, that it doesn't require a ton of things to be able to play it. It's not like super, super, you don't need like a super gaming computer or anything to play it. Um, I just have a standard run of the mill, you know, one of the cheaper laptops that I use for editing. And that's about it. Um, I'll browse the internet at night when my husband is sleeping and I will edit and that's about the size of it. Uh, we have Lucy in here. If you are not aware of why her name is Lucy, probably want to check that one out. That was a great episode. I had a lot of fun that episode. Um, I'm not even sure what it was called, but I will try to remember that. Um, but it's one of the first times that we did take her out up to the outpost. And I call her her because her name is Lucy. Okay, so let's get back in here and just check on the mass. We didn't get a ton of resources while we were out. We did kill a wolf, but that's okay. Um, we're not going to get the mass if we don't turn on the mass fabricator today, which means we also need to turn on the power here because, you know, it's going to use a ton of power. Let's turn that on. Let's see if we have anything that we can. Yes, we can get rid of all of this stuff if we need to. And this is one of the reasons why I keep these crayfish and just burn them because they are worth a ton of mass um, you and hopefully we can get I think it's 120 or 150 let me just check before we use everything and we might we may not even need it so it is 140 okay we can handle that it's just 20 more mass not a big deal let's do that if you're not aware, the best thing in the game to use for mass production is kelp. Each piece of kelp gives you three mass here. And mass is also required to build most things in the game. Let's just do that little number and get that down here. We don't have any alcohol or anything um, being produced. Well, that's lovely. I haven't upgraded very much stuff in the base. I'm really going to have to do that one of these days. Okay, so we are at 137. We're getting closer. Um, let's just get upstairs and drop the steak in the fridge. And then by the time we get back down here, everything should be okay and ready to go. Um, let's just put these. Well, that's one way to get rid of the steak. Wasn't the way I intended, but it works. Okay, let's do that. And since we need just a tiny bit of cloth up here, Let's just go ahead and put two pieces in here. And we do have some nails that we need to put downstairs for crafting and for building, which is lovely. I'm super excited that we did get some of those. Let's just drop you guys in here. And I think we have everything that we might need to go ahead and craft the water tank. Um, yes, we do. Let's go ahead and get that crafting. It will take a lot of power and a lot of mass to do that. Um, hopefully it doesn't require a lot of the advanced parts to get this done um, as far as you know getting the sprinkler system and all of that lovely stuff up and going I really hope this is a bit easier to get done than to build the ATV because that was just way too difficult and very unnecessary in my opinion let's turn off the mass fabricator uh, that's the recycler you are the fabricator let's just let these guys run a bit because we do need the power back up you know, we'll just make it nicer. You know, lots and lots of power. So where exactly do we want to place um, the water pump? We don't really want to place it just here in the front because that could lead to a mess. Do you see all this damage here? That's one of the reasons why I don't want to place it up front. Um, let's just see here. How big is this thing? And does it need to be near the plant beds? Because if so, we could just place it kind of right up here on the edge, maybe. Let's just have a little look. So tab to get into the inventory. Let's just place it here at number six. And it's quite small, actually. 
Um, is it something that I want to place just here? I don't think so. I mean, we can place it nearly anywhere, but like way outside. And does it need to be like near water? Does it need to be near water? I don't know. So number six, I mean, we could place it anywhere, really. You can even place it, well, it has to be placed on a foundation. So we couldn't place it out here, which means it doesn't necessarily need to be in the water. Um, I do think it said that it could pump or pipe water inside the base. So I wonder if we need to place it downstairs near that little pool of water. I don't know, guys. Um, this is all new. It's learning for me. I don't know anything about it. I have not watched any content on this. We are going to figure this out. We are going to get it together. Okay, let's place you right here. Well, it looks okay. I mean, it's not ugly. It's not horrible. It's very shiny. And I don't know how we crafted that, but I guess those alloy sheets. Well, okay, so inflow pump we don't have an inflow pump what does that mean craft water intake pipe is that what we need water pipe and plant bed sprinkler faucet we can fill canteens from this oh wheel i guess if we had water not enough water in the tank so how do we get water into this inflow pump turn on um let's just see water outflow connector no pipes are currently connected water inflow connector no pipes are currently connected so is the pump block already in here and we just need to put pipes here because that would be okay water intake pipe um we need two pipes we need do, do, do some metal scrap and a metal ingot. We are gonna have to have some zinc. So let's just turn you on. We have mass being produced, that's lovely. I don't really remember what we needed. I'm gonna have to bring the workbench back downstairs because, um, yeah, this is just not gonna work up here. And to move, Okay, so let's do that. Let's figure out if we can place this anywhere at all down here. I don't know how difficult that's going to be to move this thing. Okay. So apparently we couldn't stop at this one because this workbench was interfering, but that's okay. We didn't really need to do that anyway. Let's just put this back over here for now. Uh, we will be moving these upstairs or this one. We'll be crafting a few extra as well for the lighting up there. I think it looks okay, so we're gonna have to do that. So with metal pipes, we need copper, we need zinc, and we need iron fragments. So let's just grab those. Copper, iron, and zinc. And we have a couple more zinc in here. We are going to need iron like crazy as well. Let's just put these small amount in here first. And that way if it gets completed, it'll just turn itself off. Um, let's see if we can get these pipes going. I don't remember exactly how many we needed, but let's just craft whatever we can. We, we can only craft the one for now. Uh, we desperately need mass. So yeah, this is going to be a labor of love. In getting this up and running because we don't have all of this stuff available we don't have the mass stored um, the mass fabricator we can run it but it does take a ton of power let's just see if we can run it for a tiny bit okay let's get back over here and see if we can craft what we need here I think it was two of these that we needed we have one um, so I wonder how, like, how do we connect these pipes? Is there some way to do that? Does it just leave a big pipe running through the floor? Uh, do we need to hide these things? Anything like that? I don't know anything at all about this. 
Okay, so we have that. What else did we need? Um, one metal ingot and some scrap metal and tons and tons and tons of mass. Two metal ingots, um, some scrap metal. We can put these guys back in here for now. And again, if you hear my laundry in the background, I do apologize. It just has to get done. I don't know how much scrap we needed. But we needed some mass, so not that big of a deal. We needed four pieces and I grabbed ten, so I think we're good on that. Uh, we'll just let the mass fabricator do its thing for now. We might have to go grab some kelp from the refrigerator and bring it down here since we don't have a ton of stuff going on here. We don't have any more things to burn or anything like that. Let's just see what we got going on. We don't, we don't need all this kelp. Let's just put you in half for now. And then let's take this down here. And we're not going to put all this in here at once, guys. There's just simply no reason to do that. Because we don't need a ton of mass right now. Um, let's just split this in half again. And in half one more time. That gives us 36. So we're almost there with the 80 that we do need. Let's split you in half. And you in half one more time. And I think we might be close enough that we can let the mass fabricator run. I think we needed 80 power, not power mass, 80 mass to get that done. And of course, all of this is going to take time. Let's get back down here and get around to this thing and see if we have enough material. So water pipe, um, not crazy expensive, but not exactly cheap either. Let's just craft you. What does it take for that? Alloy sheet. And some pipes, metal pipes. Um, so that we can upgrade the plant bed with the sprinkler system. So what do we do with this intake pipe? Do we just shove it in the water somewhere? Do we... I don't understand. Um, let's just see here. So number six... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to fix this or what we do with it. Does it snap onto something here? Um, does it snap like that? I know that this has to be common sense, guys. Okay, so do I just put it in the water and this is just a valve that you turn on and off? Let's just go upstairs and outside and see what that does. Okay, we definitely don't need to shoot the elevator. Let's just see what it looks like outside. We might have to move some things around. Okay, uh, that's one way to get water in that pipe. Just jump in the pond and the lake. I started to say the pond again. Come on, girl, get it together today. What's going on with you? You're a mess. Okay, so can we just, like, shove this out here? Like, does it need to be underneath the water like that? Okay, let's see if we can read anything about this. Place in a water source, river or intake, or lake, to flow water into connected water pipes. Um, okay, so apparently we need a water pipe to connect that to, and then we can connect the water pipe to the tank. I don't know, guys. Um, let's just check it out. So, this is a water pipe. Um, yeah, we need one more metal pipe. We can handle that. We need some adhesive. One metal pipe, which is all of these lovely resources and material here that we have. I think we can handle that. Let's get over here and grab this metal pipe. Craft you up. Um, we're using tons and tons of resources today, but that's okay. 
I'm just trying to get water into this water tank. Because if you have water into the tank, then hopefully we can figure out how to make this work. So let's do... We need two adhesive. We only have three. So two is lovely. We can handle two. Okay, we need you. And you're a water pipe. So let's just craft you up. And then we need this sprinkler, I think. But I think we don't need it right now to make this work. So if we can get... Let's move you up here. Come on. If we can get you to work. So number five, where do you go? Like... What do we need to do here? I don't understand. Am I the only one with this issue? Like, do we just put this pipe on here? I mean, there's like a pipe sticking out here that doesn't have, I guess that's a spout. Is there a place on this? I'll bet that's what's going on down here on the floor. Okay. So, okay. What do we do now? I'm sort of lost here. I have no idea. I mean, these pipes are super, super ugly. I mean, is that what we do? And then number six, it says that we can just connect this somehow because I'm not feeling it do we just rotate it to where we need it like this come on number six Let's just rotate it a bit so that it sort of there where we need it let's rotate it rotate 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 and of course guys I'm not leaving this mess here on these steps this is not staying here at all. Let's just place it right there. How do we pick this back up? We just press end to move it. And you go like right there. Is that right? And then we just turn on this lever maybe. Is that what we need to do or do we turn it on from here? turn on. We have it connected. Uh, I don't know guys. Maybe we need to water inflow is connected. Inflow pump. What is this? Water outflow connector. Pipes are connected to the outflow. Why not the inflow? Let's see if we can move this. I want you connected up here. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to mess around with that. It's getting super dark down here. Uh, I do apologize for that. We don't have lighting everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one for now. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.